Hello, I'm Marisol Miranda from Easy Equal Access to Software and Information. On this video, I'm going to talk about the Playhead on Camtasia. I'm going to mention two ways of using it, and they are for splitting a video and for selecting a segment of an existing audio clip for editing it. Before talking about the Playhead, I want to mention that Camtasia's editor has three main areas. They are the clip bin, the canvas, and the timeline. The clip bin is the most important of the tabs. We can say that it is the home tab. It holds all the images, audio, and video clips that are being used for the project. The thumbnails of these media files are shown and organized there. At the bottom of the, this area, there is a set of tabs with options to edit or add things to the video, like callouts, you know, captions, and things like that. The canvas is where all the additions or additions done to the video can be previewed. And finally, the timeline, that's the place where the video is edited and assembled. With that said, now I'm going to talk about the playhead. It is located between the timeline and its toolbar. It is formed by four pieces, what I'm going to call the main head, that looks like a small pentagon. To the left of the pentagon, there is a small green square that's the in point, and the right has a red, which is the out point. All these parts can move together or independently. From the vertex of the pentagon out is a thin line that goes through the timeline from top to bottom. Because a playhead moves along with video, it's easy to locate on the timeline the exact time where the video is playing. When a callout, keyframe, or any of the other additions that Camtasia has for us to use is added to the video, the playhead location is what sets the time where this is going to be displaying. The playhead is also used to split an existing audio or video clip. For example, when a segment of the audio has to be deleted, in this case, the way to go is to position the playhead exactly where the segment that we want to delete starts. To split it, you'll have to press S or click on the Split tool on the Timeline toolbar. Or you can also go to the Edit menu and arrow down to select Split. A small line is going to appear on the audio track, so it is easy to know that the clip has been chopped. The next step is to position the playhead where the segment that is going to be deleted ends, and split it the same way you did before. Finally, to delete the segment selected and Press delete on your keyboard or you can click on the scissors tool on the timeline, uh, timeline toolbar. A blank space is going to, to be where the deleted segment was. So the clip on the right must be aligned to the one on the left. The only thing you have to do is select it and drag it to make them be together. Not doing it would make the video to have a, a silence there. The second example on how to use the playhead is for selecting a section of an existing audio or video clip. For example, to raise the volume of a segment. To do it, the playhead must be placed where the segment that we are going to edit starts. After this, the out point which is the red square, has to be dragged and dropped to where the segment that's going to be edited ends. A layer is going to cover the segment, so it is easy to know which part is going to be edited. You can now add any effect that you want to it, like, for example, raise the volume 
or low the volume or add a silence. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.